for this particular message, because I want to, I'm at 23 minutes now and I want to stop in a couple of minutes. Um, the message that comes to me, and I know somebody needs to hear this because it's in my spirit. I was like, oh, I'm not going to say it today. And I'm just going to get beat up until I give this message. So if you're the person that needed to hear this, even if you don't tell me, somebody needs to hear it. But if you're the person that needed to hear this, um, you know, definitely you have to tell me if, 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 if it was your message. And you don't have to put it in the post in public. Just send me a private message. <laughs> Um, so I was sitting back and I was looking at, basically looking at life um, and, and, and the state of my life right now. And I was like, OK, I've, I've got a business. I've just started a partnership. I just launched a nonprofit. I um, just started a dream job. Things are wonderful. Um, of course, the state of the world is not. I have family and, I, and friends in Nigeria that are going through a tough time. Of course, we know what's going on over here with politics and Black Lives Matter and all of that. And so things are always going to be happening around you, right? But this message came to me, and it's do not let defeat define you. Um, I encourage you today, if you are listening, that you need to sit back and think about all the ways in which you have failed. And this kind of ties into the mindset message, mindset Monday message that I posted on Monday, where I said, you know, on the way to success, you're going to pass failure. And if you don't like, it's not really success. So I really want you to do this. I'm really, really good about giving assignments or giving to do lists because I think that's really what, you know, prompts you to action. Um, and this is how I work as well and how my mind works, because I'm just kind of a a list writer or a note taker, I want you to sit down um, right now if you're struggling in your life or if you're going through something and I want you to write down all the ways in which you failed and then all the ways in which you've bounced back. And, you know, when you do this exercise, it may not equal up right now. You may have way more ways that you've failed and not that many ways in which you've succeeded. It may be neck and neck. Or you may have very little failure and quite a bit of success. I would be really, really surprised if that's where most of us are. Um, I did this exercise earlier today and I went back a long time, right? I went way back. Um, and I won't go into all of it, but I wrote down some things that I just wanted to share with you because I realized that every time I failed and bounced back, I got so much better. And I was so much stronger. Um, and so these are a few things that I wrote down that I classify as failure that I've experienced throughout my life. And I want to make sure that I don't have anybody that has a question. OK, good. OK, so like I said, go back far as you can remember. Um, you know, I put on my list. I thought my life was over when I got a C plus in algebra in the eighth grade. Um, I did. I thought it was over. I thought there's no way I'm going to get in college with this C because at that point I was a straight A, maybe one or two B student. Uh, and then I realized that that was the first time or the first life lesson um, that I didn't understand at that time. But I do now. That taught me that you don't have to be perfect to be successful. Um, another time I failed is when I turned down a full ride scholarship to Oklahoma City University because I was in love at the time and I didn't want to move that far away from my first love. I was a fool. The relationship ended as quick as it began and I lost a full ride scholarship. So what did I have to do when I went to school? I had to take out loans like most of Americans. But that experience, that failure that I caused made me more appreciative of the education that I had to get on loan. Um, Three times I've been asked to apply for jobs that were promised to me under the table. And I actually think it could have been four times if I sit down and think about it. And each one of those jobs that were promised to me that I interviewed for, each one of them, the interviewer or the person that promised the job came back to me and said, oh, Quisha, I'm really sorry to say this, but you know what? We actually went with another candidate that was actually more qualified than you. 
fail, fail, fail. And you're talking about hurt. You're talking about disappointed. You're talking about disgusted, angry, frustrated, whatever the emotion that was me. But those experiences made me understand how important it is to earn everything you work for. I'll be the first person now to tell you, don't give me anything. I want to earn it because I know if I earn it, you can't take it away. But if you give it to me, even if it's a promise, there's a potential that you can take that from me. On a personal note, I had a 15 year marriage that ended in divorce. And I know I've talked to a couple of you all that, you know, have really kind of lost your footing because you went through a divorce. Yes, it is as bad as people say and worse. That was a fail. I felt like a failure. However, I learned a lot about myself and other people going through that process. And I learned things about people that I would have never been able to understand had I not gone through that divorce. My marriage that I'm in today would not be as good as it is had I not had a marriage that failed previously. I failed in a solo business before. I failed in a business partnership before. Both experiences have taught me what not to do now that I'm in business for myself. I have an other than honorable discharge from the United States Army Reserve, which is another story for another day. But that failure, which made me feel so bad, led me to the Veterans Hospital, where I proudly care for veterans for nine and a half years. I was asked to resign from the state from that job because of what I said earlier, that perceived conflict of interest. But I quit that job. And today I can tell you I have a better paying job with better benefits, with better perks. Um, and they're supportive of what I do with the member health. So I could go on and on and on and on from the list that I made this morning. But the moral of the story and the message that I wanted to share with one of you, because one of you needs to hear this, is I failed more times than I can count. You have failed more times than you can count. You've probably just been told, no, you were not qualified for the job. You've just been told, no, somebody else got that promotion that you do all the work for. Maybe you didn't get into the program you wanted to. Maybe you've recently lost your job because of COVID-19. But I guarantee you, Every failure, every setback, every demotion will sharpen you, will polish you, will mold you, will push you and propel you towards something greater if you let it. Do not let defeat define you. And so I said I wasn't going to get um, religious, but when I was writing these things down, I read, I read all of the Bible. I went through this course called the Bible in 90 days. So I don't necessarily remember the scripture, but I know if it's in there. And as I was writing these things, um, a scripture came to me that's from Corinthians, Chronicles, one of the C's um, that says, for now we see in a mirror dimly, right? Like we don't understand what's going on right now. It's clear the vision. It's almost like when you get out of the shower, you've taken a hot shower and you go stand in front of the mirror and you can't really see anything because it's foggy. That's how we see life now, right? But in part, by and by, we will understand his. And if you don't believe, then this message isn't for you. And actually, it really is, even if you don't believe. But in part, by and by, we will understand his reasoning and his plan. And so uh, I, I want to encourage someone today. Um, do not let defeat define you. Welcome your failures because you have to pass failure on the way to success. So I am rooting for you. I am here for you. Please, if you need anything, shoot me a message or an email. It may take me a few days to get back to you. Um, but like I've told y'all before, I will always personally answer all of my emails and all of my messages. 